this is the thing, man. So a lot of the places in, and it's changing slowly now because of, you know, people going overseas and the G League stepping that up. But if you really think about it, basketball in college, like a lot of these coaches are trying to turn you into perfect players for their system. You know, and like when I was in college, it was a 35 second clock. Now it's a 30 second clock or whatever. But that's a completely different pace of game than pro basketball. And there's a different three point line. So it's different spacing than pro basketball. So you're playing a different game than you're going to be playing as a professional. And if you really think about it, like you go to college to learn how to be a professional at something. It doesn't have to be basketball. Like you can go to be an engineer. You can go to be a teacher. You can go to be all, you know, a scientist, whatever, whatever it is that you're going to school for, a lawyer, whatever it is you're going to school for, you're learning, you're training to be ready to be a professional and to get paid to do this. So basketball should be the same, but it's not because too many coaches are worried about their own situation and they want to make as much money as they can and they want to have the biggest name that they have. So they turn these players into robots to fit their system because of whatever and they don't prepare them to play basketball as a professional. So that's why a lot of guys that are in college for four years, they get into the NBA or they get somewhere and they're role players because they've been only taught how to play a certain way. It's very few coaches that just let guys who like Calipari, you know, coach K starting to do that now. But when we were younger, like Princeton office, they're passing the ball 15 times before they take a shot. And if you go on the pros and you pass it three times, that's, that's just going up. But yeah, mm -hmm. It's just what it is, you know, like first best available shot is the one you're going to take, not a bunch of dummy passes just to get the defense moving for 30 seconds. Like that's ridiculous. Right. So, so this, when I watch college, I'm like, I can't do it. You know, this, this kind of leads me to the, the, test my theory against you because you know more, more than I do. So we, and you're, I feel like this is hitting here where I'm going UVA and Tony Bennett. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like what they do is geared towards there aren't going to be as many good shooters in the college ranks, obviously. Um, and so you, you basically get the idea of slowing down basketball and really going all in on defense mm -hmm. and they're able to do it. And I think that's also part of the reason why you don't necessarily, you know, cause even clay was out of Washington state with him. UVA really hasn't had very many guys in the pros like Brogdon um, Harris, I think are the two most notable, but right. there hasn't been any super duper star. And I think that most of like what they do, I, I'll, I'll say that, they do it effectively, but it's, it's, it's not wrong. It's just shitty. <laughs> yeah. It's not fun to watch. Yeah. And they play like a, <clears throat> so like to get deeper into X and O's, like they, like Tony Bennett is famous for the pack line defense, right? Mm -hmm. Forcing everybody middle. Yep. Helping from first passes. And now they're starting to incorporate that a little bit in the pro basketball, right? In certain situations, like pick and roll coverages and things of that nature, not letting people go baseline and more of more forcing people to the middle helping off first passes and getting back to shooters like that's the way the game is kind of going right now because basketball has become so shooting centric right and that kind of defense is made to like compete with people that are more athletic than you you know so like a lot of washington state's teams were not the most athletic or virginia's teams now he's starting to get some better athletes but before it was like we don't have the best athletes Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to try to do is try to keep you in front of us and make you hit a contested shot over us. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to force you to where everybody else is at. So it's crowded. And then we're going to make you shoot over. And it makes the basketball really boring, you know, because it's like not a lot of exciting plays. And, and everybody's you know I mean? got to they run the whole shot clock, you know. Um, yes. It's a lot of shot clock violations. A lot of shot and clock then, violations. Uh, on offense, he's not they're not running. You know, they're, they're in transition sometimes, but like they're running half court offense. Yeah. You know, yes. that's their bread and butter. You know, they, yes. they want to go in the half court. They want to call set plays. They want to make a bunch of passes. It's not like Princeton offense kind of stuff. Cause they do too. They, they, and they have a little bit more stuff in transition, especially recently, but you know, when they're on offense, they're, they're 10 seconds on the clock and they're taking their shot. You know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, like when I got into college, like we were running uh, the North Carolina secondary break. You know, mm -hmm. with like the trailer, uh, pass ahead, pass back, and then cut and set the back screen, swing it, swing it again, pick and roll at the top. Like we were playing that, right? But it was never explained to me that playing in transition is the most effective way to get easy baskets. 
Like that was never something that was taught to me in college. You know, it was just run a secondary because that's what they were running because Roy Williams ran it. You know what I'm saying? So like, mm -hmm. that's why we were doing it. There was no explanation as to, yo, it's easier to attack a defense when they're not set and they're not loaded up against you and you can run an early ball screen or, you know, which is all pro basketball is come down defenses and set early ball screen, get somebody into space and let him attack a closeout or shoot. That's pro basketball, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody ever teaches you that in college. They don't teach you that or why you're doing it or the science behind it. They're just saying, yo, we want you to do this, you know? And so then you're just like, okay, like me, I need to know why, like, what's, what am I, what am I actually doing? You know what I'm saying? In this situation, what am I learning or how, how is this beneficial to me? Like, I need those, that information. You don't get that. You know, a lot of these coaches are just like, yo, your job is to run to that corner and you only shoot when I say shoot, otherwise you pass. And then the player's like, okay, if you don't do that, you don't play like, all right. But I came here to like, learn how to be ready to be a pro at some point. I ain't yeah. going to be a pro if I just stand in the corner. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of guys, you know, they don't go to college to quote unquote win all the time. No, so they're going to the college like, is going to set them up best for their own future. Yeah. And if we went on the way, great. Yeah, that's a lot of why this stuff, you know, there are coaches that have been upset recently about the transfer porter and all that. Oh, you know, there's a lack of commitment and all this stuff in college basketball. Even that, you know, there were some hints at it that that's why Roy Williams retired recently. Which he was a guy that set guys up to be pro. I felt like it was strongly hinted at, yeah, like yeah, as in yeah. like it was almost almost said. Yeah. And, wow, but, I didn't know that. Yeah, and and but that that was part of his retirement and the whole discussion around it and how so many people are in the transfer portal now and and it sort of feels like a quasi free agency, but at the same time you're talking about a situation where these guys have got to go for the best situation for them too. I mean, there is a competition. The, the incentives that the coach has to win versus the incentive that the player has to do the best they have for themselves, those aren't necessarily always in alignment. Um, exactly. And there needs to be some semblance of, I feel like some semblance of freedom for the players to be able to, to choose where they go if their situation doesn't allow that and not penalize them for them by to sit them for a year and stuff like that. Yeah. No, I agree with you 100%. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine and he was telling me that like, you know, he went to college and like he likes college basketball because of what it did for him in his life. Like, mm -hmm. cause not everybody's going to be a pro, right? So yeah. a lot of kids go to school and they enjoyed mm -hmm. the school. They enjoyed their teammates and that's what they cherished from it. And they knew that once this was over, it was over. Mm -hmm. But for, so, so for some of those guys that, you know, it's fine the way it is, right? You're, you're part of a team. Yeah. It's a great experience, but for the majority of the guys playing, like if you ask them, yo, if you could play pro basketball professionally, would you do it? Like, if you could, would you do it? And most of them will say, yes, like, of course, like, that's my dream. Nobody wants to say it's their dream because they, they don't want to sound stupid or sound like they have some illusions about who they are. But at the end of the day, that's why you do it. Like you play because you want to be the best and you want to be able to play at the highest level that you can. Yeah, you even, know? And, if, if you're playing division one college basketball, you've been playing ball since you were single digits for the most part. You know, this facts. is your life. This is what you've been doing. Facts. That's, evenings you know high school junior call junior high high school all the way up through college you know they're, they're, it's hard to know anything else i mean of course those people want to have those dreams you know of course which is it's only it's only right right like yeah. a lot of a lot of people want to be doctors so mm -hmm. yeah. you go to school to do that like yeah. it's the same thing for sure for sure